Hey guys, welcome to the sixth video of my series on data classes in Python. So many a times there is a requirement that we want to get the um, value of all the properties of a class in terms of some kind of a data structure like a list or a dictionary so that we can keep it like a packet and we can use it at different places for example in a REST API. So if I am able to get all the properties of my class in the form of a JSON in, in a JSON format by converting it from a dictionary then that will be very easy for me to pass it at a response for a for any kind of REST API right. So for all those kind of requirements we have to convert a, any given class object to some kind of a dictionary format or a tuple format. So that is what we're going to see how we can do that particular thing using data classes so let's get started without any delay so right now we have a very simple example of a class person in which I have name city and age in order to make the things a bit more complicated let's say I want to make um, it address in place of city and it will be an object of class address and let me define a class address which is also a data class so class address is here which is taking a few um, which is having a few properties let's say latitude value a lang longitude value a city value a country value so let me give them some type hints latitude should be let's say float longitude is expected to be float again city let's say should be string and country should be let's say string so in this way I have created a class address and I'm using it as a type hint for my um, address property in my class person. So now um, let me create an object of class person but before that I will have to create an object of class address. So let me create an object of class address like this. Some latitude, some longitude and then city let's say Delhi and let's say country is India. So in this way I have created an object of class address and now let me create an object of class person in which I will be passing the name first which is let's say Nikhil after there's the address in which I'm passing the address object only and after that there is something called age within which I'm passing 20 so in this way I have created an object of class person if I try to check its representation I get something like this name then the address in which there is a representation of the address object and after that we get age now the thing is that let's consider that there is some kind of an API which requires um, there's some kind of a rest API in which there is an API endpoint in which you need to give the details of a person so the API is using JSON format so for converting this particular data of your class to some JSON format you need to first convert it to some um, standard data structures like list and dictionary so how do we go about doing that so in order to do that there is something called as dict in the data classes module so if I just import as dict as well and if I try to see um, as dict p let's see what happens look at that I get all my data of my class in some dictionary format in some very pretty dictionary format and now I can simply do import JSON and I can do JSON dot JSON dot dumps I can dump this dictionary as a string and I get it and now this can be sent in the JSON format to any kind of API right so in this way we can um, get the value of any class object in terms of dictionaries by using the as dict function in the data classes module and how is it able to do that it is able to do that because of that uh, because of the thing that data classes tend to handle all your class properties in terms of a field object it contains all the information about the fields that you have so it can simply convert your class um, object to a dictionary of your class properties okay so also there is something called as tuple so if you want to obtain your class object like a tuple you can do as tuple in which you pass your class object and look at that what you get you get a tuple in which address was another class so it is a tuple of a tuple and after that you have age 20 so in this way we can use as dict and as tuple to um, convert our class object to, to some other format in terms of its uh, properties and it's quite handy in many cases so this is how you do it um, I hope the concept of as dict and as tuple is clear if you still have any doubts you can put them in the comment section below that's it from this video thanks for watching